All right, and we are live with Samantha Fish here at the Pace Studio in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Samantha, it's great to see you again. Welcome. It's great to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. It's sound check has been immensely cool uh, as it always is. Um, and I, this is sort of similar to the first time that you and I did a session together, um, where we had a horn section. Uh, and a full band. You've done a couple different versions of the set up in New York, one with violin. So this yeah. is the fourth time we've gotten to work with you, and we're so thrilled. Yeah, yeah. It's always something a little different. So thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Heck yeah. Um, we're going to hear four songs today. Uh, the first two uh, won't have a break, and I can't wait to hear the cool uh, crossfade transition that, that's in store. I've been told it's cool. I'm going to hold you to it. heavily now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure it's going to rip, and, and everything is going to sound great today. I already know that. Um, really quick before we start, I just want to say congratulations to you on Killer Be Kind, your sixth uh, solo album out on Rander Records, and you've been working on touring that for a while. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. It's got to feel good to have that out. Number six, Definitely. that's crazy. So I know. Session number four, six studio album. We'll have to keep this going. So, all right. all right. Can't wait to hear the first track. All right. This song's called Killer Be Kind. The next song's called Watch It Die. Here we go. Ha! 
Okay, here we are again. Man, not that I forgot, but um, so immensely cool what you do musically. And it's different um, than, than the last time I heard you, and I know that that was sort of on purpose with this new record. Yeah. Um, obviously, you have, uh, without a doubt, laid your stake as a queen of blues Um in the uh, the earlier stuff and and what I, my first in introduction to you uh, was as a blues guitarist and this obviously still has elements of that yeah. um, but goes way beyond into the synthesizer beyond and uh, has this I know that you said something about uh, these strong messages bleh, excuse me strong messages from the heart um, and with that uh, kind of a really intentional melodicism on this record. Um, I would love to hear that in your words. So I'm not reciting your bio back to you, no, but if that makes sense. What's yeah, that? absolutely. I mean, when I when I went out to do this record, I, I really wanted to focus on songs with very powerful, catchy hooks, um, infusing some different genre elements into the blues, you know, like uh, rock and roll, Americana, R&B and soul, pop even. Um, I kind of wanted to just take everything that had inspired me and put it into a record and come up with something that had a unique voice and it's killer be kind. Yeah. We love it. Thank um, you. Those first two songs were both off of the record, correct? Off of Cool, cool. Absolutely, um, yes. We have one cla one uh, track that is not from that record today, if I'm correct. No, no. Nope, we're they're all on the new one. We're okay, doing everything so from the sorry. new album. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's exciting. And there's two more left. Um, I will let you tell us a little bit about what we're going to hear next. This next song is called Dream Girl. Um, it's on the new album, and 
I don't know. <laughs> I'll just play it for you. Right on. Drift away with me. We spread our wings and fly as far as we can see. When you're ready, you go back to the ground, and I can come down. If I could give. To the dreams that I've been having, I'd hold on. So I'm your dream girl, come to your aid. I fight your demons as it was my own crusade. Give up a happy ever after I'd be gone If you could live up to the dreams that I've been having I'd hold I know I've got a little switching to do, so I'll switch to me. So the mystery is intact. Um, but yeah, uh, more shout outs on uh, Killer Be Kind. You've done some some cool collaborations. 
um, with some other songwriters on this record, um, including Jim McCormick, uh, Jim McCormick rather, uh, Kate Perlman, Patrick Sweeney, uh, Parker Millsap, and Aaron McFadden. Um, and you said something about working with others because it kind of gives you a push. I totally like completely makes sense. Um, how did you come across these people? Are they like? I know you've worked with uh, Jim before, um, but like, are these? Friends, acquaintances, colleagues, mentors, how does that, like, how did you pick those to collaborate with? Um, you know, it's kind of, I mean, it's it, it takes a village, you know. I mean, I, I've known Jim for years. I met him through my manager. Um, Jim introduced me to Kate Perlman. <laughs> and then I've known Eric McFadden on the scene. My manager hooked me up with him, too. And then Rounder hooked me up with uh, Parker Millsap and Patrick Sweeney. And I, I went to Nashville and I went to L.A. And I just, you know... A lot of collaborations, just trying it and see how it works and see what the other person's, where the other person's strength lies and then, you know, work and find the best song through that. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's, it's a unique way of doing it. I mean, you, you grow every time. Right. Every time you collaborate, I, I feel like you grow. Even if you can't get a song out of it, you figure something out about yourself. It's a challenge, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, even the audience uh, having their own take on the song, but having other songwriters that you respect. Um, kind of being, uh, you know, telling you how what you're doing makes them feel or whatever. Like that whole process has Absolutely. to be really cool. Yeah. It's so. about the story, you know. Um, and storytelling is really important to you on this on this record, right? Well, yeah, and just how how to best reach the listener. How do you connect? You know, how do you make this such a, a universal thing? You know, sometimes it's best to get out of your own space, out of your own head, and and bring somebody else in and and work together like that. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, I'm super glad that you're sharing all of this with us today, both your words and your music, um, the incredible band that you've got with you. Um, yeah, this is so cool that we get to do this, and I hope uh, four is not the last. Um, we have one song left, and I'll let you tell us a little bit about it, or we can just hit it, whatever you're feeling. All right. Um, well, this song's called Bulletproof, and I'm really terrible at setting these up, so we're just going to go after it. All right. All right. Show my rage for you. Got my love, it's not enough. I need to prove it to you. What's a difference? It's a difference. It's the difference of me now. I can change, I can change, I can change. Oh, tell me. Shifting your point of view Rocks are off, you demigod I'm just someone to talk to Make me feel something real I fall off of your news Where's the spark through the dark For you to light my fuse But it's all about
I kick and scream, I fall apart to move you. Shot down in Vogue, I got the joke, you need me bulletproof. Twist it up and turn down, you say I'm crazy now. Oh my god i quit that's it no thank i'm just kidding that's the best holy man thank you so much thank so you so good uh thank you for melting our ears and hearts today uh as always thank you can i introduce the band real please quick please do you took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> scotty graves on the drums chris alexander on the bass phil breen on the keys chris Bees on the saxophone harry mortar on the trumpet they're invisible right now but they were here you and saw you're them. samantha fish <laughs> i'm samantha fish right on. yeah thank you for having us thank so you much. all thank so you. much for being here safe travels go crush it at, t at t west tonight can't wait. Thank All you. Right.